Well, hello everybody, Jamie the Board Game Man, and today we're going to look at a very special and unique game by the American Express Card. They came out with the game back in 1972 by Shapper, let's see, well, how do you say it? Shapper Manufacturing Company. It is a two to six player game. It is called Money Card, the American Express Travel Game. Now, in this game, you're going through Europe and you're trying to pick up eight keys from different, of eight different countries that are in Europe. First person to do that and doesn't spend all their American Express Traveler's checks wins the game. So let's head on over to the gamers table. We're going to check out this game, Money Card. Here we are at the gaming table with Money Card. Let's check it out. Okay. So what you see here is the actual board. And it has Europe on it. So you'll see all sorts of different uh, countries in Europe that you see on here. You also have your spinner. This is how you move around in the game. You have your little planes here. It's a two to six player game. So you're going to have six of these different colored planes that you place on the board. You also have different cards that you will be landing in, such as France. Italy, Spain, and Germany, Austria. And you also have some miscellaneous cards. And you also have keys to these countries. Lisbon, Vienna, London, Copenhagen, Athens, Paris, Rome, and Madrid. And the object of the game is you're trying to get all eight of these keys in your possession. First player does that wins the game. You also have the actual handy-dandy money card right here. You also have these postcards that you'll get from time to time in the game. And you also have these traveler's checks that come in the game. Um, you have to look really, really, really slow. I mean, obviously, you got to be really close here. It actually, it tells the denominations in two different areas. Right here, $10. And then right here, it also says $10. Very, very small. But they come in different denominations, 10s, 20s, 50s, 100s, 500s, and so on. But these, this is the currency that's in the game. Every player is going to go ahead and start off with 300 in traveler's checks and the one thing you do not want to do is run out of traveler's checks once you run out of traveler's checks you're out of the game and so you want to make sure that when you land on certain items that you have enough traveler's checks for it or hopefully you have the money card in your possession which i'll go over in one minute all right so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and pick a agent travel agent and that person is going to be pretty much the banker and so on. They're going to be in charge of the keys, handing out the keys to everybody, and so on once, once they get them. Um, first player is going to be the agent, and then the second player will, also, will both start in London. The third and fourth players will start over here in Copenhagen, and the fifth and sixth players will start over here at Lisbon. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to spin the wheel, and whatever you land on, that's how many spaces you go. If you land in an area, like in this area, then they come over here, they land in Madrid, okay, in this orange area, they, what they'll do is they'll pick up an orange card and do what it says on the card. And after you do that, you're going to lay it face up in front of you. You're going to keep this in your possession, okay? Now, on these cards, you'll see there's different little areas down here that has... Well, it was, it, this part's kind of cool. Depending on where you, uh, what country you're in, it actually gives a word down here. And once you put three of these together, then it's a, it counts as a bonus. So let's just say you had this card, these two squares go together like this. So you'll have something like this. And once you get a third card, then you can, out, you can say something like... Uh, after you have three of these in a row, you can say, Gracias, Senora, er, which means, thanks, madam, to go. Once you're able to get three of these and you actually say it, then you get a bonus. You get a bonus of up to five moves you can make on your plane. Okay, it's up to five player, uh, up to five moves. And why I say up to five moves, I'll tell you that in just a second, why you might want to choose instead of just going five every time. Once you land on a white circle, this white circle right here, there's a white circle in every one of these countries, that's how you get a key. So if you land on that exactly, <coughs> excuse me, then you will get that key for that country. And like I said, you're trying to get all eight keys to win the game. 
when you spin the spinner and you spin money card as you can see right here on the spinner there's a money card space i'll put it right side up so you can see it right there then you are in charge of the money card which means when you have the money card in your possession if you land on any of these spaces and it says like in this case uh take another travel card okay let's see if i can show you in a good example cost thirty dollars well guess what you do not have to spend your traveler's checks you can say charge it and it does not go against you and you just lay it in front of you if you land in an area that is not in a country like say in this blue area down through here then you will grab a miscellaneous card that's what the purple cards are you'll grab a miscellaneous card you do what it says here and then you'll go ahead and place it in the bottom of the deck so that's a different thing from these countries you'll put it in front of you but once you use a miscellaneous card you'll put it in the bottom of the stack okay that's how that works and now um like i said when if you land on the circle I, exactly that's when you get the key so when it comes to putting that bonus there you can say i want to move you know like if you're only like three spaces away you say i'm just just move three one two three and then you actually can get the key for that country and that's pretty much the game my friends it's pretty much if you just do what it says in the card when you land in a certain country sometimes they'll give you these little mail from home and you'll actually take one of these and it says, Dear Tracy, I want it. Bingo. Sending you a little money order. Collect $50 from American Express. And what you do is you go ahead and grab $50 of traveler's checks and put it in your uh, possession. Okay? So that's what these little mail from home are. There are all sorts of different, couple of little different things in here. Uh, such as, uh, I don't know why it, it says Tracy to everybody here. Uh, Dear Tracy, you forgot to turn off the water. Send $40 for repairs. And you have to pay $40 bucks for that. You have one that says the car bumped into the garage, sending $30 for repairs. Must be a very small repair for $30 for a garage door. Um, and then you also have, uh, you know, your application for a money card was approved by American Express. Pick up your money card from the agent. So if somebody else has the money card, guess what? You're going to snag it from them and then you will take possession of the money card. So that's the two different ways to get the money card is if you spin it or you, you actually get a card or something that tells you you got it. Okay. And that's pretty much it. You're going around all these little dots and you're trying to land on these spaces exactly. And that's how you get the keys. First player to get all eight keys wins the game. And that, my friends, is it. Uh, the instructions are actually, I forgot to tell you, the instructions are actually inside the lid here. So if you have any questions or anything, uh, where's the paper instructions? Well, there is no paper instructions. It's inside the lid. If you land on an express port, which you see them throughout here, Obviously, if you land on one of those, you can go anywhere on the board that has another express board. If I need to get way over there, I can just go and take this and take it all the way over here if I wanted to. That's what the express ports are. It pretty much just transports you from one express port to another. You always follow the arrows on the outside. Now, when you start going inside, you can go either way. But once you're on the outside track, it is a one way only. So you're only on the outside. And here you can go you know, every, every which way. Um, say you kind of pass, you know, pass it up. If you want to go back, you can always go back and try to get that. Okay. And that is Money Card. So let's head on over to the game room and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right. So my final thoughts on Money Card. You know what? No, I'm sorry. It, it's just, it's just not a good game at all. It really, really isn't. Uh, you roll a move, you land in an area, if you're on a country, you pull that country's card, you pay 10, 20 bucks, no big deal, you pay your traveler's checks. Uh, if you so happen to have the money card, you just say charge it, doesn't go against you. Um, eh, you know, I mean, roll, I mean, I'm not, I'm not against roll a move because I have quite a few roll a move games, but this one just is not exciting. Uh, you have to land on the actual spot in order to get the, the key to the city unless you did the, uh, you know, unless you had the, the special, uh, power to go into the city then or then you're able to get another key for that way I'm like, i don't know i think that unfortunately this was a bomb um i was hoping it'd be better luckily i only paid one dollar for this at an estate sale i literally got there at the 11th hour i mean they were literally i think i got there like one and they were closing at two i believe and so i walked in i, I remember seeing the pictures i'm like what is this money card game so of course i was interested in it because i never heard of it before i never saw it and so i thought okay so I went in there and I said, hey, how much for this? He goes, ah, a dollar. I'm like, okay, here you go. Gave him four quarters, left, you know, left the site. And I was pretty excited about it until I read about how, what it was about. 
and it's just uh no I, I really wish it could have been better but it just wasn't well made now maybe for kids you know moving around and kind of learning how to you know getting the cards and paying and all that stuff that might be good for them but for us adults here not a good game at all unfortunately i wish i had a better review for it but you know i gotta be honest definitely gotta be honest and uh well let's break out the thumb meter this is gonna be one of the very few times you ever see the thumbs down on the meter but this one i'm sorry that just it's not very good at all so anyway that's my review of money card and uh thank you so much for watching as always i really appreciate your support and happy gaming